This is really great. Um, after we, you know, say a few things, I'd like to line up here. Uh, this is my vision in, in a diagonal type of thing, and we'll have the logos on either side, the flag behind us. We'll make it look real pretty. I like to choreograph this and make it look real nice. So. It might be a little bit of okay. It's being a little OCD here, but it looks nice when we're done. You should choreograph so, before we start sweating. I said, no, 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 I want the sweat. I want the, I want drip marks. We'll get the reflections off the mat. So it'll be our, our underlighting. Um, we're really doing it up here. Um, last time we did this in our first space, we called it the, uh, I called it the uh, just open house because I knew I wanted to have an official grand opening later to seem like a real business. I don't know why they do it like that, but they do, so I was just trying to act like I knew what I was doing. But, so Mario Espija, he, uh, he, he gave me a hard time afterwards, like, man, you didn't say any words, you didn't, nobody knew anything, what's up with that? So, I just want to make sure that like, I really pulled everybody together and said how lucky I feel. You know, a, a year ago, if you'd asked me, like, do you think you'll own your own school someday? I would have said, absolutely. 100%, this is definitely something I would love to have happen. If you would have said, will it happen within the next six months? I would have said, oh, heck no. Not nearly ready for that. But I just, uh, I moved out here and there wasn't a key program and that's what, that was really important to me. Um, and so I just decided to kind of pull the trigger. And before that, before I had the really inclination of doing this, it was his inspiration. He said, uh, I was thinking about selling some mats I had and he's like, no man. Hold on to them. I think I can see you having having some space someday. And that was it. I was all right. I'm not going to sell them. And that was the the birth of my 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 dream of doing this. And so I just feel really lucky to have you. Thank you, Professor Brent. Thank you. And uh, I would also really appreciate Jackson being a part of the team here, man. He's 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 amazing resource to have. Um, He's teaching Wednesday nights, and that may grow. I mean, we'll just see how it goes. But um, you know, I just I know that his, his uh, knowledge is, is is making this happen the way it is, and, and gives us some, some more validity here. Um, I really want to thank a lot of people here. I want to point out Adam Doby. He's got Cedar Creek MMA here in Bastrop too, so he's a good resource. He's, his nogi expertise is amazing. Um, I love learning all kinds of nogi stuff from you. Thank you, Adam, for being here. Um, we have uh, actually uh, one of our students, Gabriel, he, he started training with us at the Three Strike White Belt and his person, the guy who got him started here, actually the mission between Jackson and Alan, read your hand, Alan. Alan, thank you for, he traveled here from California to visit family, it just happened to work out that we could do it like this together. Um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, there's so many people I want to thank. Thanks for all the Braza teammates that came in from Austin. Um, each time, I mean, a couple of you guys have been here both times that we did this and, and more than that, Will for helping out, Will and Ellis for helping out. Um, I also want to thank Matt here. He's, he's a student of mine, a new student, but he's helped me with all the signage that we have, and it's, it's cool to have somebody like that on a, on a team here. Is there anything you want to say, Professor? <clears throat> yeah, guys, I mean, it's, to me, I mean, that's the best thing I can see, you know, like try to, you know, I've been doing this stuff for most of my life now. I'm still pretty, pretty young, but still most of my life, and then seeing like a guy, you know, like, what Alex is doing now, you know, like making this as a call it part time, call it full time, but as a doing some sort of like a life out of it, you know, and then, you know, future just up to him and up to whatever brings it. And then it just like it's not nothing better for me to see than, you know, have a guy like a growing up from the Jits and then doing these out of passion, out of a, all different reasons. And it's, you guys are definitely good hands, you know, like a, take this opportunity, you know, and then try to learn as much as you can from him. You know, he's a great guy, you know. He's, we're going on like a, almost between four and five years or so. You know, it, you know, great experience, you know. So you guys are in great hands, and I'm really proud of him, you know, and I think you guys would like to have him. A great club, you know, great starting here for sure. Agreed. I moved out here about a year and a half ago, two years ago maybe, and uh, I, didn't have, I didn't know if I was going to be doing any training anywhere near Bastrop. It was just one of those things that I was like, well, looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of driving uh, to get any of my training in, and I did that for a while, and uh, my family knows that you know, it's a struggle to do that drive a lot, to do a, you know, a hobby that's just demanding, and all of a sudden, there was a, an ad in my, on my mind. Uh, I had a friend of mine that had told me about uh, buddy Allen, uh, who I met, and we started uh, training in his garage with Gabriel, and 
he left and I didn't have my uh, place to go anymore uh, in town. And then uh, I saw that this place opened up and I came in and everybody, everybody on the team class was amazing. Got to roll with and they uh, they all welcomed me. I got a new brother and Alex, like we rolled together all the time. He's just got this, you know, a fresh outlook on all these things that I haven't seen before from my own teammates. And uh, I can't express uh, how awesome it is to be here and uh, how much of a random sequence of events uh, lead, lead, leads us to be here. And uh, I'm thankful for it every day and all the roles that I get. Uh, I love teaching and I love being able to be a part of this. Thank you so much. That's awesome. So um, there, I do have a surprise I wanted to, to pull out here today. Um, and I have a belt right here. And it's actually from my daughter, Genevieve. <laughs> Yesterday I picked her up from school and she's like, Dad, I got two certificates for, for being an honor roll and for bringing my grades up. And I was like, just two? Good, okay, so now you, you have to make a speech. <laughs> Alright, so now you have a speech to say. You can thank your dad. <laughs> actually have one more surprise and it's uh well actually professor mario has a belt in his in his jacket as well and it's for gabriel Especially uh, 
Mr. Allen, who got me started around two years ago after baseball season. <laughs> Coach Jackson, who came in and worked me up and showed me a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. and Coach Alex, who opened up this school and gave me the opportunity to do this again. And, uh, Professor Espa for letting Cohen open it. <laughs> Did you parents for paying all for all this? <laughs> yeah, parents. Cool. Those are all the surprises for you guys. So uh, I really like to get together now and take a picture. So uh, it's, it's one, two, three. The big camera again. Big camera again. Yeah. Look at the, the look at the big one, guys. The little flashy ones. Okay. Um, well. I believe. I believe. Yeah, I, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is better. Yeah. How are they looking? Looking good. I think I'm done. All right.